erythropoiesis the process of formation of rbcs in our body is known as erythropoiesis in this presentation we will see features of mature rbc sites of erythropoiesis main features of different stages of erythropoiesis erythropoietin and its regulation first when we see the mature erythrocytes these are round biconcave disc shaped with smooth counters diameter is about 7.2 micrometer normally no variations in size and shape stain with the eosin more stain towards periphery is major features it can deform easily and it has no subcellular particles these are the main features of mature erythrocytes that means finally these are biconcave it is underlying features with smooth counter is another features their diameter is about 7.2 micrometers stain with eosin that is important and this can deform easily and there are no subcellular particles with more stain towards periphery are their main features when see this rbc count in male it is about 5 millions per cubic millimeter while in female it is slightly lower that is about 4.7 millions per cubic millimeter now how this erythrocytes are formed this process of erythrocytes formation is known as erythropoiesis now this process of erythropoiesis formation that is erythropoiesis starts in early weeks in embryonic life that is obviously this form of mesoblastic stage that is from yolk sac then they form nucleated rbcs from third month of intrauterine life they are formed from liver this phase is known as hepatic phase or hepatic stage from fourth month they start from spleen and in last month and after birth that is known as medullary stage that means they are formed from medullary stage in conclusion in early life that is in embryonic life these are respectively form mesoblastic phase hepatic stage and splenic stage and afterwards to the end medullary stage and after that they start from medulla medullary stage now when is this bone marrow after the age of 5 years from all bones while after 20 years na marrow of flat bones that is like ribs vertebrae skull bones sternum iliac crest etc and at old age marrow is less productive this is a graphical representation showing different phases that is mesoblastic hepatic splenic and medullary stage this diagram is an important diagram that we can draw in our theory examinations now this from where these erythrocytes are formed these erythrocytes are formed from pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells that is known as phsc from this they form colony forming units gemm and from them they form proerythroblast now the bone marrow cells for erythropoiesis first pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell that is known as phsc second is committed stem cell that produces erythrocytes is called colony forming unit erythrocyte that is colony forming c f u colony forming unit dash erythrocytes factors responsible from formation of erythropoiesis or erythrocytes from the bone marrow are respectively two first is growth inducers and second is differentiation inducers now when is it is main features of this stages of erythropoiesis are first proerythroblast formation then early normoblast then intermediate normoblast then late normoblast reticulocyte and erythrocytes this is a diagrammatic representation of the different stages of erythropoiesis this is also important in theory examination but when you see one by one that is first stage that proerythroblast the most important feature it is the first identified cell in the series of erythropoiesis it has no hemoglobin nucleus is about 12 micrometer and it contains nucleoli these are the basic four features of proerythroblast second is early normoblast in early normoblast nucleoli is disappears show mitosis cytoplasm deep blue increase in rna 
hemoglobin starts appearing little hb seen in this early phase that means an early normoblast and lastly last important feature is thick chromatin that means the important feature of this early normoblast that is hemoglobin which starts appearing first time in this series in or at early normoblast after which we see late normoblast late normoblast contains nucleus become smaller coarse chromatin is formed hemoglobin detectable in or at late normoblast eosinophil stain is seen and rna basophil stain is seen next stage is reticulocyte this is reticulum remnant of er or ga synthesis synthesizes hb few mitochondria are seen here or ng rbcs these are known as ng rbcs these are about 1% of red cells this is the same diagrammatic representation of different phases they form stem cell committed cell and developmental pathway these are the basic three divisions stem cell that is hemocytoblast committed cell that is pro erythroblast and developmental pathway includes early erythroblast late erythroblast normoblast reticulocyte and from reticulocytes last phase is erythrocytes now this phase 1 concern with ribosome synthesis phase 2 concern with hemoglobin accumulation and phase 3 concern with ejection of nucleus now next question arises how this regulates or how this process of erythropoiesis regulates main important is hypoxia hypoxia stimulation causes release of erythropoietin erythropoietin stimulate bone marrow stimulation and there is seen a pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell formation which resulted into bfoe the factors which affecting erythropoiesis are mainly dietary proteins iron vitamin b12 folic acid hormones and other factor in hormones basically there are androgens thyroid hormone growth hormone prolactin cortisol androgens and catecholamines while other factors include copper vitamin c calcium cobalt and bile salts now how this regulation of rbc production occurs this regulation that means occur via the erythropoietin which regulates total mass of rbc in circulation within narrow limits to maintain adequate oxygen supply and to avoid impedance of blood flow now when there is in a low blood volume anemia low hb poor blood flow pulmonary disease or high altitude this leads to the tissue oxygenation now it stimulates erythropoietin by kidneys the erythropoietin once stimulated it activate this pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell and from pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell there is formation of proerythroblast and from proerythroblast which concern and form the erythrocyte by the process of erythropoiesis and this process of formation of erythrocytes from pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell is erythropoiesis phase now when you see the next part that is erythropoietin what is exactly the erythropoietin you should know some facts about erythropoietin it is first glycoprotein 90% is secreted by the kidney next 10% by liver this erythropoietinogen is converted into erythropoietin that erythropo erythropoietinogen is a globulin synthesized by the liver in plasma what are the actions of erythropoietin mainly this stem cell differentiation to erythroid series next action is rapid maturation of proerythroblast it promotes synthesis of that is hemoglobin and release of reticulocyte these are the four actions of erythropoietin in exam is this is an important aspect that is what is the, what are the actions of erythropoietin in summary i want to again repeat it that first stem cell differentiation to erythroid series secondly they say rapid maturation of proerythroblast third this promotes hemoglobin synthesis and for the release of reticulocytes are the basic four actions of erythropoietin now this erythropoietin is stimulated or this erythropoietin secretion is stimulated by number of factors listed like hypoxia is the major factor epinephrine non epinephrine another factor prostaglandins androgens are other factors which also help in erythropoietin secretion while it is decreased by the estrogens or by decreases globin synthesis 
Now, what is the role of vitamin B12 and folic acid, which required for final maturation? That is the important role. That is for final maturation of erythrocytes, we required vitamin B12 and folic acid. The essential for synthesis of DNA, deficiency of this vitamin B12 and folic acid leads to megaloblastic anemia. That is an important underlying cause. The deficiency leads to the abnormal and diminished DNA and failure of nuclear maturation and cell division. The cell remains in blastic stage for longer period and lifespan is about half or one half to one third, but oxygen transport is normal. normal.